In this video, we'll allow a group to have roles that are different from all other groups on the site. In order to do this, we're going to add the field group roles and permissions to the group bundle. To do that, we'll go to configuration and scroll down to organic groups field settings. And for the group bundle, we will add group roles and permissions. Now when we create a group or indeed edit a group, we can choose to override the default organic groups rules and permissions. Let's see what that looks like. We'll go to add content, group, we'll set the group visibility to public, and this time we'll select override default roles and permissions. And I'll go ahead and give it a menu link again for the video and save. So now when we go to group, the roles and permissions do not have the read-only text next to them. And keep in mind that groups that were created before you add this field will continue to work as they did before. As soon as you edit a group, however, you'll be required to select either use default roles and permissions or override default roles and permissions. I'll show you what that looks like with group number two. If we edit this group and scroll down, we now have the group roles and permissions options and we have to select one or the other. I'm going to go ahead and override the default rules and permissions. And now when we click on the group tab, the read only text is gone. So when I click roles, I have the option to add a role to this group. And keep in mind, when I add a role to this group, since it is overriding, no other groups will have the roles that I add here. I'm going to go ahead and add one. I'll just call this page manager. And again, adding a new role doesn't do us much good on its own, so in the next video, we'll give some new permissions to the role page manager.